Hello, hello, Wops, when you move your mad man, and I'm back. And today is Thursday, so today I've got another digital movie to show you again today. I feel like that's what's going on on Thursdays at the moment, so I'm keeping that trend up a little bit for you. It's nice of me, isn't it? Uh, today we're going to be talking about Bo is Afraid. In 4K as well, actually. So, here we go then. Bo is Afraid. Uh, gonna dig into this movie a little bit for you. Uh, gonna put this down low uh, and put the poster up here like we have done before. Um, nice, nice poster for you there as well. Uh, so, Ari Aster directed this movie and wrote it. If you guys have seen Hereditary or Midsummer, this is from the same guy. Uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of Hereditary. I thought it was very overhyped and not very scary at all. So I do apologise if that upsets you and you watched it and you thought it was the scariest film ever. I didn't think it was very good, so sorry. Uh, Midsummer wasn't too bad. I didn't find Midsummer to have that many problems with me. I mean, it was quite long and I hear the director's cut is even longer. I mean, obviously that's how director's cuts go really, isn't it? But I thought I thought it was I thought it was all right Midsummer. I was wasn't offended. Thought it was pretty good. Uh, there's something wrong with the Johnsons. Is Ari Aster's first released movie, short film, actually, literally one of the weirdest, most fucked up things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I wouldn't suggest going out of your way to watch it. It's a bit, it's a bit weird and fucked up, and just generally unpleasant. And I just wondered why I was watching it. To be fair. All the way through that, I was a bit like, I don't like this. I don't like what it's doing. Didn't like it at all. Sorry. But anyway, we're talking about Bo is Afraid today. So enough of making Ari Aster look like Director of the Week, because he's not. Um, that's tomorrow, which is not Ari Aster, if that helps. So yeah, Bo is Afraid is starring Racking Phoenix, if you guys like a bit. Of Rackin Phoenix. Rackin Phoenix is pretty, pretty much an incredible actor. Give or take about two or three films. Um, I think pretty much everything I've seen him in, I've really enjoyed. Uh, he always goes out of his way to give a really good performance in everything. He was in Napoleon recently as well, actually, and that was that was really good. Saw that in the cinema last week. Really enjoyed that. Uh, Bo is afraid. Um, was a very interesting, I think is the best way to put that, very interesting film. It's one of those films where all the way through the film you're just like, is that, is that happening or is that, is that not happening? I can't quite tell, like half of it's in his head and half of it's not in his head. And I think it's down to the audience to try and decide what's happening and what isn't happening. Yeah, it does, it does throw you off a little bit there are parts where you're like oh my god I can't believe this is actually going on this is actually crazy and you just like this is films a little bit mental uh, and then you find out that actually that's not happening and you're just like oh right okay so it's not as mental as I thought it was but yeah it does it does do a lot it does do a lot where you're just like I really can't tell what's going on if somebody watched that all the way through the first time and understood all of it um, well done I think I've seen it twice now and it still lost me a little bit I mean I got it a little bit more the second time because I understood that the whole film's just like a cinematic expression of anxiety but there were still there were still many many bits in the film where I was just like this film's actually just crazy I think I wasn't I wasn't quite sure what was going on at the end I think when it gets to the end of the film I was just a bit like so is this in his head because if it was it kind of 
fobs off a lot of the other stuff that happens in the film as well and you're just like I can't quite tell if this is you just think I can't quite tell if this is actually happening or not I think I get I got a lot of that throughout the whole film I did I did understand the film if that makes sense it's all about uh, Rackin Phoenix going to visit his mum and he's not seen his mum for a little while and he's a little bit like I've got to get out to see my mum uh, and then he gets locked out of his own flat and he's got to get back into his flat he loses his keys or something or does he I see it like does he actually does he actually lose his keys you just don't know you see this is what this is what you deal with when you watch the film you just don't know but yeah I mean there are there are so many parts of it that look really good which is what you look for in films isn't it what well, might not be you might not be looking to see if films look good some people just watch it for story and acting and stuff like that which to be fair don't get me wrong they are all good parts of films as well but I like a film that looks good as well and this is one of those films that looks good as well so big thumbs up from me for that granted there are a few things that happen towards the end of the film that I don't really want to spoil too much but there are a few things that happen towards the end of the film where I'm just like no you've you've completely lost me now I mean some parts of the film have been explained to me in in ways that people understand it but it's not been explained to me by the guy that wrote it or the director so you don't even know if the people explaining the films are actually right so there's always that yeah so yeah a bit of a uh, a bit of a confusing one for you is Barry's Afraid it's two hours and 59 minutes long as well so if you're not really a fan of long films then you're going to struggle with this because it is pretty long uh, I was quite happy to watch it at home the second time round because I could I could pause it it's always helpful when you can pause a film when it's getting a bit long you can pause it and go to the toilet and stuff like that or you can eat or you can eat um, but you know I, I ate while I was watching it so there was that but yeah I mean there was there was a lot there was a lot of the film that I understood and to me I was quite happy with what was going on so it was okay for me I, I was enjoying watching Rackin Phoenix falling apart in his own head and getting to see the like the cinematic expression of anxiety it was it was a well well made film well made film it was a good looking 4k movie as well I was quite I was quite pleased to see a film that looked really good in 4k so I, I only have it as a digital file at the moment because you can't buy it over here because A24 are a little bit funny when it comes to releasing things they like to release stuff in the cinema and then they just give it to America and then no one else really manages to get their hands on it I mean to be fair everything everywhere all at once came out on blu-ray and in 4k last year in America and it's still not out over here which is very rude I think so yeah I mean it did it did throw me off a little bit I did understand it but all in all it was a pretty pretty good movie so there's that for you uh, I'm gonna stop talking about the film now because I don't really want to ruin too much of it does he make it to his mum's house hey eh? watch it and you'll find out you know yeah could you can you watch it and see if you can understand it better than me who knows because I'm still not 100% certain I understood it but anyway uh, I think I'm just gonna go for today uh, I'll be back tomorrow the director of the week again so another exciting video for you tomorrow if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'm gonna fuck off okay
if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'm gonna fuck off okay goodbye <laughs>